in the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. We called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so she is. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelm and Louise, you're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Hmm. Huh. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Man, I really turned a molehill into a mountain. I feel bad for Mr. Jefferson about this. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. First I save Chloe, then Kate, and now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. Hey, Bunny. Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this.
There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Jeepers, I am so freaking tired. <laughs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof. And I will use my pa- Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. So much hypocrite. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. I feel like you're guiding us along. Where? Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just, like, shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like, she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. I won't say a word. I swear to dog. I believe you, Max. Besides Victoria, you're the only one who asked me about my mom in the hospital. That meant a lot to me. I'm my own person, too. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh, man. Like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Jeez. Taylor actually seems concerned about Kate. Kate probably won't want to look at these posters when she comes back. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit.
Victoria is a sense of cross the line from Snoop to Detective. I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. Those boots are made for walking runways. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret, she's a geek. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. A unique point of view is right, thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, <sighs> I'm getting paranoid. Dana's really hurting over this. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. I was lucky, that's all. No girl, that was not luck. You made a choice to save her, like a superhero. Then maybe it's time to catch the bad guys. So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Oh, the most magical insects. 
burn bright. Look at the lens and say nut. Gotcha. I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Everywhere I go, I can see how I'm altering history, big and small. Max the Ninja strikes again. Yeah, like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, <laughs> Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. <sighs> Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right, except for your ability to, oh yeah, manipulate time and space. No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions, especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again 
so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max. Who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her? I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Dead end. Nothing here. Boring. Crap. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank, but I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, 
would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. I'm sorry, I'm just not sure about a movie night right now. Don't hate me, and thanks for the help. This sucks ass! Goddamn door! Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Just emptied. Nothing here. A long time ago, in a girl's room right here. Oh, Rachel, I know you and Kate are connected by all this. No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. Release the crack hand. It's all mine anyway. Only three more items to go. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. Not a scientist, but this is so not sodium chlorate. Here's the sodium chlorate box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. You're halfway home, Max. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. I never said they were great, troll. Ooh, sugar. Only one more ingredient. An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. You deserve way more than this for taking on Nathan, but Every little grade counts.
This is like a scene in a horror film. I say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson gets screwed. <laughs> nice going, Max. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, <laughs> said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. The tape is mine. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. Cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? This ancient door is no match for Max the Magician. If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case.
This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Only two more files to go. I certainly can't use this. It looks like an oil painting's bill. Awful. Look at this pile. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Chloe, say hello to my little friend. Say goodnight to the bad guy. You're not so tacky up close. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. And nothing here. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescott's dropped Major Bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescott's always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's... Fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info, let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. 
This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Frank knows things about Rachel and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are Supermax. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich and nobody busted us. So? Splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Boys or girls? Girls, of course. Girls, ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Those are some musty ass old shirts. Yuck, where does that other sock go? Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? The wit, it burns. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. I hope so, friend. 
Well, we care, dickhead. Sorry, Rachel. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light! Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Welcome to 1950. I bet you do. Sometimes. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. I guess I should consider this evolution. Boy's locker room is right. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. Why? No way am I touching Zack's jersey. Zack is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? This must be for training kids. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Some poor hipster lost their vape. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Time to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby, feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. 
<laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And... We're obviously connected, since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and two. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hide! Hide. my power or just look for a hiding spot or both where are they hello hello anybody there Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Turn around! They're coming! We have 
have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car! Get in! Always remember this moment. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, we'll pay it back. Somehow. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. I love this song. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my pot. <sighs> At least we haven't been identified yet. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Nice. 
Chloe put my pic on her phone. Okay. I must have proved I was worthy again. Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shitstorm. I don't think I'll be moshing today. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. So Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. As Blackwell proves, boys are trouble. And way fucking gross. As you'll discover soon enough. Oh, okay, woman of the world. Please tell me what it's like to get that first magic kiss. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to get you all worked up. I just don't think anybody is good enough for you. Besides me. Not sure what the trouble was. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion room. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl-on-girl -girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. You better not rewind and take that kiss back. You know I'm hotter than those Seattle art holes, right? Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Check you out, Max. Ready for the runway. Go downstairs and show Joyce. She'll love it. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. You 
You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. Nobody in this town has a fucking clue as to what's happening. Do they? For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. Looks like a message. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break ins. What? Give me a call soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Message deleted. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bull. Wowza. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Now for the mother's milk. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. 
so I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Now that's what I call pancakes. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Nothing to see here. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Hmm. 
Hmm. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military pal. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. Why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not. Now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh. 
You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. What is going on here? Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals? Holy shit. This is so creepy. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next, a tornado? You don't think it could be like climate change or something? I'm a fisherman, no scientist. I know the sea is warming, but this is something new. Maybe worse. What do you mean, worse? If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay... Sorry, I'm just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next, a tornado? I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about- Sorry, it's too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. I'd love to do a whole big rig photo series. Hey! No photo, girl.
Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? Now even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel? She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what's. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Look at that. So sad and disturbing and beautiful at once. What an amazing shot. So ominous. I hate seeing old women on the street like that. <sighs> nice world. Hi, how are you? I remember you. I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. It's been a sad week at Blackwell. It's a sad world, Max. But you're so damn young. Oh, if I could go back and be your age again. I truly wish I could help you. You did the last time you talked to me. Now you look like you could do with help of your own. Just to find some answers. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. So I see everybody. And everything. Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit just has a bad aura, as we used to say. He also drugged the girl who tried to jump. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. I hate seeing old women on the street like that. <sighs> nice world. Thanks for that storm warning, Max. And, uh... I'll let you know if I find out anything. Good lord, Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. 
Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. It does look like fun. I'm just not in fun mode right now. Poor Warren. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname, around the Bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky, and right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, you don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Rachel? Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, cause you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. What the fuck now? What can I do for you, Max? Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? 
That was classic. Watch. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. <clears throat> what the fuck now? You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh how, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. <coughs> I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Watch out! Quick thinking, Max. I should have known. The amazing Spider-Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. You Can't scope quite the area while picture I Frank and Chloe drinking Frank beer and hanging out. That would be so. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. No prize here.
Zip, nada, nothing. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. How can somebody live like this? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Ooh, Frank Stash. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. No more secrets. Is Frank going to deal online now? Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. This is almost as good as a set of keys. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm, trouble in paradise. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe!
Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes! Kate Marsh almost killed herself! Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here, alive, with me, and that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me, and Rachel needs you. Oh my god, what is happening now? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first! You know the rules, Dad! Max, tell him! Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Hands, Daddy. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. Home and serve us slackers. Am I that far back in time? Do you mean pancakes? In France, they call them crepes. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom I love depends. William like but he was in my right. own family. So how many eggs? I Don't won't let him die today. Chef. I won't. Like you're the real Chloe is here. just so damn happy and carefree. And this is the last time unless I change it. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young.
You can see the bond between Chloe and her father. And the love. Now this is a photo. Hello? I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast. Oh, yeah. I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. I know they never took that big vacation. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> He'll be grateful for that someday. That's a cool snow dough. Keys. That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Be grateful for that someday. Me let Score. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Really wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why that she I, was so so much. I know, sorry, Mad Is Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Yeah, right? Do you want to go hit the girls' California potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? 
Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. <laughs> 